What is going on, Shrimp Keepers? This is Rob with FlipAquatics.com, and today we are going over everything you need to know about matten filters. Now, if you've never heard what a matten filter is, let me just tell you, you need to watch this video because this could potentially change your fish's lives. Now, matten filters are, in my opinion, the best filter you could ever have for your aquarium. Now, there's some very, very expensive filters that you can get that probably would be better, but as far as cost, as far as setup, as far as maintenance, as far as accessibility, this is the best filter for you. And I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna go through how you set it up, what it is, how it works, why it's the best, even reference another YouTuber that made an amazing video on this. So you guys just sit back, enjoy, and listen to why Madden filters are the best filter for your aquarium. your first time here at Flip Aquatics, let me just say thank you for stopping at this video. We appreciate you being here, watching, learning a little bit more from us. Uh, my name is Rob, as you heard from the beginning of the video. I run a huge shrimp business. We, we are passionate hobbyists that just love shrimp, and so we sell shrimp here in the United States. And uh, if you guys want to, hit that subscribe button. Join us on this journey as we, we follow through this, this course of growing our shrimp business and really changing the United States as far as shrimp and nano fish and all that. And we have a new fish room coming up with a bunch of 125 gallons. We have a gallery that's underway. So there's a lot of exciting things that are coming for this channel. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about us and follow us along on our journey, then definitely hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it does get you involved in what we're doing here and we would love for that to happen. So let me rewind for a second. Back in 2013, I made a video on how to breed shrimp and I talked about filtration I went over tank size, things like that, and I, I rewatched that video, and back then I was like, I was all for sponge filters. Now my reason for this is, for breeding shrimp, these sponge filters create a natural feeding ground for baby shrimp. So the baby shrimp are gonna crawl all over this, they're gonna feed off of it. It's extremely, I mean extremely cheap to run. I wanna say a sponge filter like this is gonna cost you around $8, so it's, it's pretty inexpensive. Now, this is a great, piece of filtration. Absolutely great, it's cheap, it's it's effective to run, but why Madden filters are the best? So 2013, that's about six years ago at this point, this was my choice of filtration. This was amazing. Now, we've upgraded since then, there's a whole story for it, but what actually is a Madden filter? This is a Madden filter. Now, two inches thick, roughly, I think it's two inches thick, it might be slightly under, but this is 12 inches by 12 inches, about two inches thick, this is a sponge filter. So the matten filter is massive compared to it. The, the square inch, or the cubic inch um, of this matten filter is about 260. I don't remember the exact measurement, but it's about 260, whereas this one is about 60. So this is four times as big. This actually might be 240, now that I'm thinking about it. But you get the point. This has four times the surface area of a sponge filter. This versus this, I think a Madden filter is around $15, and uh, we'll go over how this all operates, how it works, everything like that. But I did wanna show the comparison. So, four, six years ago, I was using these, these sponge filters, and I still recommend them to this day. You cannot beat for the cost, you just can't beat it. Madden filters are by far superior to sponge filters. So cost, cost is always the biggest thing that prevents us from doing anything. Um, it all comes down to the bottom dollar, how much it costs, how much it costs to operate. Let me tell you, whenever you're using anything air driven, so sponge filters, matten filters, these are all air driven. That means you have a linear piston pump, uh, you have a central air system for your fish room, or you just have one tank and you have a little air pump laying there. You know, it all works. This is so much more cost effective than say, Another option, which we use these too. These are actually nano, um, what are they? Nano power filters, I guess. It's just a hang on the back filter. Now these are really good just because they, they, they crank through some water, they turn over your tank quicker than say a matten filter or a sponge filter. And it's a really good, effective thing for small tanks and even bigger tanks, but now you have to get an intake sponge to cover the intake because you don't want to suck the shrimp up. And in 2013, I covered all this stuff. See, if you guys want to go back to that video, I'll put the link down below. I'm sure at some point you'll see it up here or over here or somewhere. But I talked about putting um, intake sponges over this and I actually used those. I showed it in the video. So these are really good filtration, but they're, they're much more expensive to run. They're not as cheap as the other ones. 
and really they're not, in my opinion, as effective. So Matten Filter is inexpensive. It doesn't cost much, if anything, to run. You could just put it on your central airline system, you could buy a little uh, air pump, anything. But look at this. This is 12 inches, 12 by 12 inches of surface area. Now, that amount of surface area, what's gonna happen? This is gonna create a feeding ground for your baby shrimp, or even your baby fish if you use it for fish. We even use this for our name of fish too. This is the best type of filtration. Now, the one thing that holds us back at flipaquatics.com is we only sell this in 35 PPI. Now, there's tons of other options out there and we're slowly expanding, but let me show you some of those other options. Here is 35 PPI. Here is 20 PPI. So uh, PPI stands for pores per inch. So this is more pores per inch, so it's a lot more coarse. So more, um, I guess, sludge could fit through it. Um, it's just bigger columns, so it won't clog as easy. So for shrimp, this is great, the 35 PPI, because none of the babies can get through. Now this, babies could potentially get through probably you'll get some babies getting through. It's not gonna collect as much detritus as you might want. And then there's even a more coarse one, which is 10 PPI. Now this is huge. So eventually we plan on making mountain filters of all these. Um, that way we could use them on different size fish and all kinds of stuff. But for now, we only use the 35 PPI just because that's the only one that's shrimp safe, um, in my opinion. Now, there's some other colors. We got blue, we got white. Let me see if you can see blue. Blue and white. And uh, we'll eventually make something out of those because I think it would be cool to have a blue Madden filter. It'd really make a tank pop. And as you can see right up there is uh, my blue bolts. So blue bolts, blue is just my favorite color. So I think it'd be cool to have a blue Madden filter. Now if you guys are really on a budget, if you're trying to save money, if you're trying to maybe do a custom aquarium that we don't have the size for, I think on our website we have 10 gallon, 20 gallon long, 20 gallon high, 29 gallon, um, what, 55 gallon, 40 gallon, uh, things like that. We have the most common size of it. Let's say you have something completely random, you're doing your own tank, you can even DIY your own matten filter. Now, you can send us an email and we can do it for you, or you can get on our website, we have tank dividers, and we have all of our sizes of matten filters and tank dividers, which just come basically like this. Just as a square piece of foam, uh, whatever size that you order, it's gonna come in that size, and you can even cut it your own. So we did a whole video on how we make our matten filters, um, from start to finish. And you could follow that video, you can do it on your own. If you have a massive fish room and you just wanna save some money and you wanna do your own filtration your own way or put a hole in a different place, you can order tank dividers and do it your completely own way. And we have a whole video on how to do that. Uh, again, the link will be somewhere up here. It'll be down below, you can find that in the description. So check out that video if you wanna DIY your own matten filter. How does a matten filter work? Now that is the question. So. You guys have seen what a matten filter looks like. It's just this big square on the back. It has this, what we call a lift tube. So this lift tube actually pulls out. And what it is, is it has a tiny little hole in the back, if you guys can see that. And so what happens is you actually pass air line down through there. You can bring it out the bottom. You can put an air stone on there, pull it back up in. You want the air stone to be somewhere in there. And uh, just pull it back up in, let the air go. You don't need an air stone. But on our website, we do sell matten filter airline kits. It just comes with I think it's like four or six feet of airline. It comes with a little um, air stone. So you don't have to have this, especially if you're doing a larger fish room and you have tons of tanks and you have airlines sitting around. You don't need this. So that's why we don't send it with every single one. But all you do is just put the, the airline tubing down in this hole and you're ready to go. Kick the air or kick your air system on, whatever it is, if it's a little pump or a big pump, turn it on and you're ready to go. It takes about three minutes roughly to set one of these up. All it is, you just slide it down in the back of the tank and you're ready to go. How we actually got into using matten filters. Now that is quite the question. So I wanna say in 2015, I went and visited a good friend of mine, Charlie Mueller. He's an amazing catfish breeder. He breeds whiptails, um, rare plecos from all around the world. He has some world first. He's just a very, very knowledgeable guy. Well, going into his fish room, the first thing I noticed was he had cherry shrimp everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, like literally thousands and thousands and thousands of cherry shrimp in this tiny little fish room. Now, I was like, Charlie, what, what's, your, what's your success here? Like, how are you breeding so many? And so he starts going through that he does 100% water changes. He's feeding like ridiculous amounts of food. His water is extremely soft. So like everything that goes against all these things that I know to be a shrimp keeper, like he's doing the complete opposite. And I'm just like, this is wild. 
Now, you look into his tanks and the first thing I notice is a mountain filter. This huge piece of foam on the back side of his tank and there is shrimp all over it. And so I'm like, man, like that is absolutely crazy. And every single one of these tanks that has cherry shrimp in it has these mountain filters. And so I start putting two to two together, or one to one, two to two, whatever it is. I start putting the pieces together and I start thinking, I'm like, man, these filters might really have something to do with the, the shrimp reproducing. When they're getting fed a lot, when the water's really clean. And then the next thing is like, they have a constant food source on this filter. Like you look in the tank and there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shrimp on these filters. So I decide like, hey, like I'm gonna set up this massive rack and try out these matten filters and try them in the in the tanks and see how it goes. And so when I actually do my DIY uh, matten filter video, you actually see the system that we started matten filters on. And so I just gave it a test. I wanted to see how they breath, and instantly I started seeing success. You never even see the shrimp on the soil. They're always on the sponge for the most part. I mean, you're gonna see them on the soil, but for the most part, you know, they're on the sponge. They're feeding. And so instantly I just started thinking, like, man, like. This is big, this is huge. So I started getting more and more matte filters, more and more and more and more. Now our entire warehouse, for the most part, is all matte filters. I wanna say over 200 aquariums, we have matte filters in, which is just is crazy. So while some people might say like, oh, this, this, the reason you're doing this video is to sell more matte filters, like, um, of course it'd be nice to sell more matte filters, but the truth is, the reason we're doing this video is because matten filters are the number one filtration for shrimp. If you want to have success with shrimp like we've had, like Charlie had, like so many people have, matten filters are going to help you get there. They're, they really, really, really are. I promise you, matten filters are one way to ensure that you're going to start having success. It's one piece of the puzzle. There's so many other pieces. We have a whole series on how to breed shrimp that we're actually getting ready to redo. And so you can go back and watch some of those videos and learn the rest of the pieces of the puzzle. But for the most part, Madden filters like completely changed the game for us. It, it made shrimp keeping that much easier. So I want to encourage you, if you've never tried a Madden filter, you need to try one. Now, they might be a little unsightly. They're, they're pretty big. They sit on the side, on the, they go front to back. So you're going to see them. Uh, they stand out. Now, the good thing about them is you can actually hide things behind it. If, if you're using a heater, which I don't recommend, you can hide it behind it. If you have a canister filter on your tank, you can actually put the, the intake side behind the matten filter. That way no shrimp gets sucked up and you can put the outtake on the opposite side so you're like doubling the use of the matten filter. Um, if you have a hang on the back filter, you could do the same thing. You could put the intake down on one side of the matten filter. And so there's, there's tons of uses for this. I will say that out of all the filtration besides mat, or besides sponge filters, it is the most unsightly and there's ways to prevent that. Um, Jason from Primetime Aquatics did a phenomenal review of this. He actually did a comparison between sponge filters and matten filters and I'll link that right here or right there. And Jason actually goes into one of the ways that you can actually make this look nice is you paint the front of your aquarium. Now if you paint that black, you're still going to have a huge part of your aquarium that you can view your fish, but you're not going to see this ugly side view, where is it, right there, with the pipe showing and all that. You can actually make it into a nice display tank. So matten filters, while they're not the most beautiful thing in the entire world, they can be. Maybe not the most beautiful, but they can be okay. And they are going to be the number one filtration method for breeding small fish or shrimp or anything like that. Some of the best breeders in the world only use matte filters. So if they know something, then you guys should know something and that is that Madden filters work. So highly recommend them. I think you guys should give them a try. If you have any questions, definitely drop them down below. I'd be more than happy to go through and answer some of your questions and uh, teach you guys a little bit more about Madden filters. But it has my seal of approval, the Flip Aquatic seal of approval, the Rob Lupton seal of approval. I think this is the number one filtration for shrimp keepers. So if you're not a shrimp keeper, if you're a nano fish keeper, Definitely give it a try still. This is going to save you money and it's going to save you time. And you're eventually going to get more babies out of it. So give it a try. Drop me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You guys make it an amazing week and I'll talk to you guys later. God bless.